Brave New World by Aldous Huxley is a bleak book about a future society where people are raised and taught to fit into roles that have already been decided for them. In this world, scientific and technological growth has led to a society with a lot of rules and regulations, and being unique is looked down upon. The book is a critique of the dangers of unchecked technical progress and the loss of individuality in a society that values uniformity and efficiency above all else. The story happens in the year 632 AF, which is about 500 years after the book was written. Science and technology have made a lot of progress in the areas of reproduction and social training. This has caused the world to change in a big way. People aren't born normally anymore in this world. Instead, they are made in hatcheries and raised in conditioning centers. They are carefully raised and trained to play specific parts in society, and they are taught that efficiency and stability are more important than anything else. In Brave New World, society is based on a group system with different levels. The Alpha Plus are the smartest and most attractive people, and they are in the top cast. Then there are the Beta, Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon casts. Each cast is less smart and beautiful than the one above it. People are taught from the time they are born to accept their cast, and they are told not to form emotional bonds or do anything that could be seen as disruptive or rebellious. In Brave New World, the ruling class is made up of Alpha, Beta, and Gamma people who are carefully bred and trained for specific jobs in society. They are taught that efficiency and stability are more important than anything else, and they are told not to form emotional bonds or do anything that could be seen as disruptive or subversive. People can get drugs like Soma for free to help them deal with the stresses of daily life, and promiscuity is encouraged as a way to keep the peace. Bernard Marx is the main character in the story. He is an Alpha Plus thinker who feels like he doesn't belong in his own society. Even though Bernard is highly respected in his group, he is very unhappy with the society he lives in and is always looking for a way to leave it. At first, he is drawn to Lenina Crown, a beautiful Beta Minus who works at the conditioning center and is easy to please. Lenina is happy with her life, so Bernard's actions and questions about the way things are bother her. John, the son of the person in charge of the hatchery and conditioning center is another important character in the story. John grew up on a reservation outside of civilization. He has a strong sense of self and a respect for the natural world. When he is brought to the civilized world, he has a hard time adjusting to its strict rules. When he tries to live according to his own values and beliefs, people look down on him and make fun of him. The book looks at the dangers of unchecked technical progress and the loss of individuality in a society that values uniformity and efficiency above all else. In Huxley's view of the future, people have lost their humanity and have become like cogs in a machine, with no creativity, passion, or sense of self. The book is a warning about what can happen when people give up their individuality for efficiency and security. Even though the society in Brave New World is pretty bad, there are a few people who are able to break free from their conditioning and show who they really are. For example, Bernard Marx starts to have doubts about the society he lives in and goes out of his way to have events that make him question his worldview. John, too, doesn't want to live up to what people expect of him, and he pays the price for it in the end. The ideas in Brave New World are still as important now as they were when the book came out in 1932. The book shows how dangerous it can be to let technology and efficiency take the place of human ties and feelings. Huxley says that people can't be truly happy or fulfilled if they can't connect with each other and feel real feelings. In Brave New World, the society is one where being different is discouraged and uniformity is praised above all else. In the book, the caste system and conditioning are used to make sure that people are happy with their jobs in society and don't question the status quo. To reach this goal, people are given drugs like Soma and told to be promiscuous. This is done to make sure that people are happy and don't question the society they live in. Even though the society in the book is pretty bad, there are people who fight against being molded and try to be themselves. 
For example, Bernard Marx questions the values of his society and looks for situations that make him think about the world in a different way. John also doesn't agree with the values of the society he lives in. Instead, he tries to live by his own views and values. In the end, both characters fail in their efforts to be themselves, and the novel ends on a sad note with the society shown in the book staying the same. The ideas of Brave New World have been explored in other dystopian novels, like 1984 by George Orwell and The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. These works talk about the dangers of unchecked technical progress and the loss of individuality in a society that values conformity and efficiency above all else. The popularity of these works shows that Huxley's warnings about the dangers of giving up individuality for efficiency and security are still true today. In the end, Brave New World is a thought-provoking and disturbing book that gives a stark warning about the dangers of unchecked technological progress and the loss of individuality in a society that values uniformity and efficiency above all else. The book is a timeless classic that still speaks to readers today. Anyone who wants to learn about how technology and social conditioning affect people should read it. Huxley's vision of a future society is a warning about the dangers of giving up individuality for the sake of efficiency and stability. It is also a reminder that human connection and emotional satisfaction are important to our health.